we're gonna install Linux on this thing. The 3DS, I mean, it, I, I don't know, man. I mean, it's, it's a cool little device, you know, it's got two screens, I guess that was cool back when it uh, came out, you know. Honestly, in my opinion, um, probably one of the last good devices that Nintendo released other than the Switch, but you know, I got, I got issues with the Switch a little bit. Is this thing still even turn on? Oh, it's still got a charge. That's nice. There we go. She's old. Sorry. It take, takes a while for her to, uh, to start up. But yeah, you know, the 3DS, I mean, honestly, it's really cool. Don't, don't, don't look at this. Don't look at this. Don't look at that. So this 3DS was actually the one that I bought like back when I was like, oh God, like 12 or 13, something like that. I didn't use it very much, to be honest. I don't know this. Like I bought it around the time when like the 3DS was really kind of starting to die out and like the Switch was starting to become more popular. Um, and over time, I just kind of like left it in my closet in like one of my bins and just never touched it for years until just about like a couple months ago. I recently pulled it out and decided, you know what? I'm gonna start using this thing for real this time. So I fixed it up a little bit cause it was a little bit broken and I homebrewed it. And honestly, it's been like the most useful device I have ever used. I mean, seriously, this thing is amazing. I love it. I mean, like the stylus, the, hold on, let me get in frame here. The stylus, the two screens and everything. I mean, it, it's so cool. Uh, I mean, to be fair, like the, you know, the whole stylus workflow touchscreen thing doesn't really like work very well, honestly. Um, like there's some games where like the workflow for that is just really terrible, but we're not gonna talk about that. We're gonna be installing Linux on this thing. Yeah, so apparently <laughs> it's possible to install Linux on a 3DS. I mean, I, I swear to God, once you homebrew these devices, you could just do whatever you want with them. And, and it's amazing. And you're probably wondering, why install Linux on a 3DS? Why not? I mean, I mean, seriously, why not? So there's a guide on the internet that basically shows you how to install Linux on the 3DS, right? I'm actually gonna probably leave a link to this repository in the description below because apparently <laughs> the maintainers behind this, I, I did skim through this a little bit. They had to pretty much modify the Linux kernel to actually make it work on the 3DS. And I'm sure that was, you know, a significant amount of work to, you know, to do to kind of get this to work. So, you know, big credit to them. I'll leave a link in the description below for this little repository here. And yeah, we're gonna pretty much follow through this guide, uh, compile, get a kernel up and running, and then install it on this thing. Okay, so after one really successful and boring compile process later, we now finally have a kernel built for our 3DS. So next things next is we need to get the we need to get the SD card out of this thing. The back panel is only held down with like one screw because I <laughs> I don't know where the other one went. I just kind of lost it. <sighs> go, okay, well, I just pushed that one back in. No, I didn't. There we go. See, this is so easy to take apart. Like, God, why can't technology be like this today? Slide the SD card out of there, just like that. Now I'm going to use a SD card to USB converter to plug this into my computer and copy the kernel over onto the SD card. All right, one copy and also building of a firmware file later, we have Linux on this SD card. We're just gonna install it like this, shove that back in. I also backed up all the contents on the SD card, you know, in case anything goes really, really wrong. Basically, the way this works is that while it's booting up, I gotta, I'm gonna set up for this. While it's booting up, oh, I might have to actually, there we go, all right. While it's booting up, I have to hold down the start button to get to a boot menu here. Oh, here we go. Look at that, firm Linux loader. Oh, that's amazing. Uh-oh. Not what, not what I was expecting at all. Um, I don't know how to use this. Okay, basically I just selected the wrong option by accident. All right, here we go. Here's the moment of truth. Three, two, one. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm gonna power this off here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Please don't tell me I bricked it. It's not responding. Uh-oh. I did everything. I followed the instructions. I did. Oh. Okay. It turned off. That's interesting. What happens if I turn it back on? Is it... Is it gonna work? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yellow light. Oh, okay. It, uh... Booted up just fine. Um, I don't... I don't know what that was about. Uh, maybe... Maybe we could try that again. That was actually... A little terrifying. Linux loader. Huh. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it's not supposed to do that, obviously. Um. So, I, I don't know. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did wrong. Okay, so basically, I figured out what was wrong. I forgot to copy over one file. Uh. Hopefully that'll fix it. I don't know if it will. Uh, we'll see. So I'm gonna turn it back on the bootloader here. All right. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Here we go. Moment of truth. No, okay, no, this is actually insane. Oh my god. I thought for a second it didn't work. No, it totally does. Oh, I, okay, I, I think, okay, I think it's booting up. I think it's booting up. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna let it do its thing. <sighs> what the hell? What is it saying? Failed to stop secondary CPUs. <laughs> EFS unable to EFS unable to mount root FS. Interesting. Okay. Come on. Oh <gasps> yes! Oh, it works. <laughs> okay, this took like nearly two hours to get this to work. Oh my god, that's amazing! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. R, oh wait, no, uh, uh, back, backspace, R, O, O, or O, uh, T, uh, enter, and then I have to do the password. I don't even know if that, like, entered correctly. Okay, login password incorrect. Hold on here. Mm. Mm. T no O T Enter T O O R Enter Come on Oh what the heck Oh oh here it is Oh it works Wait 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 okay hold on hold on hold on L S space slash. Oh, do we have just just to kind of see? We don't have that. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. It, I mean, it's Linux on a 3DS. I mean, this is insane, right? This took so long to actually get to set up, but it's finally here. We finally installed Linux on a 3DS. I mean, this is, th I mean, this is amazing. I mean, what is this useful for? Absolutely nothing. Um, but you know, the fact that we were able to do it, the fact that we were able to even like get it working on here. I mean, that's amazing. That, <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh, that's, th this is, this is amazing. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I have. Um, you know, if you, uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, little, little video here, then, uh, you know, make sure to leave a like, maybe, subscribe, 
Uh, I don't know how this whole YouTube thing works. Uh, yeah, see ya.